Objective To study about human reproduction, structure of the human sperm. The term spermatozoan was coined by de Grey. The human sperm was discovered by Antony von Leeuwenhoek. The human sperm is an elongated structure about 0.06 mm in length. It consists of four regions. They are the head, neck, middle piece and tail. The head of the sperm is flat and disc-shaped. It has a compact haploid nucleus and little peripheral cytoplasm. Above the nucleus is a cap-like structure called the acrosome. The acrosome is formed by the modification of the Golgi complex. It contains a number of enzymes called sperm lysins. These include hyaluronidase, corona-penetrating enzyme and acrosin. The neck of the sperm is the smallest part. It has a proximal and a distal centriole. The proximal centriole enters into the egg at the time of fertilization. It initiates the first cleavage in the zygote. The distal centriole gives rise to the axial filament of the tail region. The middle piece has a large number of mitochondria. These mitochondria are spirally coiled around the central axoneme that passes through the middle piece. The sheath of spirally coiled mitochondria is called nebenkern. The mitochondria produce energy for the movement of the tail. The cytoplasm forms a thin sheath in the middle piece. This sheath is called manchette. The tail is the longest part of the sperm. It is fibrous and has a central axial filament surrounded by cytoplasm. The axial filament shows 9 plus 2 arrangement of microtubules. The posterior tip of the axial filament is naked. The sperms do not reach full motility till they reach the vagina. The sperms acquire the ability to fertilize the ovum only after they undergo certain changes in the female reproductive tract. This is known as capacitation of sperms. After ejaculation, the sperm can live in the female reproductive tract for up to five days. A human male ejaculates about 200 to 300 million sperms during coitus. At least 60% of the sperms should have normal morphology and at least 40% of them should exhibit vigorous motility for normal male fertility.